Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be going over the expected release timeline for GTA 6 and outlining everything that we're expecting, ranging from teasers, trailers, and the official game release date, as well as everything in between. So this video is going to be your one-stop shop for everything we know at the moment in regards to the release timeline for GTA 6. And the information we're going to be discussing in today's video is coming from a compilation of reputable leakers in the community that have a good track record behind the information that they release. But before we get into that, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to share your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shout out of the day, and wrap out went to the actual video. So today's shout out of the day goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Meditation Journey. Now their channel is filled with lots of really relaxing sounds across all sorts of different settings, ranging from a cozy cabin at night to a rainforest and everything in between. So whether you're still recovering from the pandemic or just want something to relax to, it's a really good idea to check out their channel and put on one of their videos in the background to relax to something soothing. Make sure to click the first link in the description down below to subscribe to Meditation Journey on YouTube today for some really awesome and relaxing sounds. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So as most of you probably already know by now, we have been receiving little tidbits of information in regards to GTA 6 the past couple of weeks, and things have been especially heating up recently both on Reddit and the GTA forums. Now by far the most common question that I get asked virtually every single day is questions like when do I expect GTA 6 to come out, when Rockstar is going to announce it, and all of these are really good questions and they actually flow together because Rockstar does have a release timeline that they go on for every game that they release. Now usually the release timeline has three main elements to it, actually four if you consider the actual game release. So first off you have the teasers, secondly you have the official announcement, third off you have the trailers, and then finally fourth you have the game release. Now a user on Reddit, which I will leave a link to in the description down below, put together a very helpful graphic and did explain his predictions for the release timeline of GTA 6, and they also line up exactly with what I was thinking as well, based on the information we have received in the past couple of weeks from insiders such as Tom Henderson and others that have a reputable track record for their information. So the first step for Rockstar when they are ready to show the world what they've been working on, such as a new game, usually starts off with some type of teaser. Now, usually a teaser is something very light that Rockstar does, however, it is very obvious. So in the past, Rockstar has done things such as changing all of their social media logos to a specific color. So in the case of GTA 6, it might be something like a purple or pink to match the theme of Vice City. And then also with some of their games, such as Red Dead Redemption 2, Rockstar did release a very short teaser trailer that didn't reveal much about the game, but did show that they are working on the game and it is going to be happening. And that was honestly really awesome to see. So for GTA 6, I do expect Rockstar to continue following their pattern that has been working very well for them over the past several years, so they will be doing a teaser, and in regards to the timeline for that, we are expecting Rockstar to finally tease GTA 6 to the world sometime next summer in 2022, so just about a year away, and maybe a little bit less. Now after the initial teaser that will be likely in summer 2022, Rockstar will be revealing GTA 6 officially to the world, and usually this is done in some type of blog post along with a series of interviews with a number of gaming publications. Now this is where Rockstar starts to get into details, 
and they don't reveal everything about the game, but they do finally discuss some really important details about GTA 6 in this case that many people have been looking forward to. Now, in regards to when Rockstar is likely going to start doing this, they are likely going to be doing interviews and putting out blog material regarding GTA 6 sometime in October 2022, so a few months after the initial teasers. So again, teasers begin in summer, and then the GTA 6 press roundup as well as interviews start happening in October, so a few months after. Now, after Rockstar starts doing interviews and publishing newswire and blog content regarding GTA 6, the next step is likely going to be the biggest one, which is going to be the first GTA 6 trailer. Now, if you go back and look at the first ever GTA 5 trailer, that was literally life-changing and Rockstar is definitely going to be putting something incredible together for GTA 6, considering that the stakes are higher than ever, and we are expecting Rockstar to release the first ever trailer for GTA 6 sometime in late October. So the trailer is of course going to be very visually appealing, I have very high expectations for what Rockstar will put together, but the most important thing here is that the first trailer will likely be our first ever look at gameplay within GTA 6, and I am sure that many people including myself are going to take every little screenshot from the video trailer zoom into it and try to find as many little details as possible and quite honestly this is the most fun part out of any Rockstar release and I cannot wait until we start doing this with GTA 6. Now it is worth noting that Rockstar will definitely be releasing more than one trailer for GTA 6. I know for GTA 5 they released about 5 or 6 total ones over the couple of months after the initial one, so this is likely going to be happening with GTA 6, but the first one is definitely going to be the most important, and that is the one that I wanted to discuss in today's video. So again, that is going to be expected in late October of next year. Now finally, last but not least, step 4 to the release timeline is of course releasing the game. Now just a reminder, these figures are simply rumors at the moment, however they are educated rumors based on the information we have received so far from trustable sources, and based on what we know so far, we will be seeing GTA 6 either sometime in 2024 or 2025. Now to be a bit more specific, this is likely going to be releasing sometime within the fall of 2024 or 2025, and the reason for this prediction is simply based on Rockstar's past actions. They have released a lot of their games, including GTA 5, during the fall, so that means it will be within the months of September, October, or November. Now it is worth noting that a lot of people have been saying that Rockstar will be releasing GTA 6 in fall 2023, but I personally do not think that's going to happen, neither does a lot of people in the community that have a reputable record based on their predictions. Obviously I would love it to happen in 2023, but I simply think it is a little too early. Rockstar still has not released the enhanced version of GTA 5 for the PS5 and Xbox Series X, and they want to make sure they can play that out as long as possible possible, so until that releases, which we are expecting it to this November, it's going to be hard to make a prediction, but I do still think that 2024 in the fall is going to be the sweet spot, but it is worth noting that even before we get to any of that, we will have well over a year of a lot of hype and a lot of information from Rockstar based on the teasers, the trailers, and everything we discussed in today's video. Now just to reiterate, we are expecting the first piece of content for GTA 6 to come out next summer in 2022, including some teasers from Rockstar, and then finally, the release date after everything else in between that we discussed will be happening either in the fall of 2024 or the fall of 2025. Now as always, as a reminder, Rockstar Games is a very unpredictable company, and that makes it very fun for me to cover them on this channel in regards to news, but at the same time it makes it as if we even have reputable information that is correct, that information could change because Rockstar moves so quickly and the gaming industry is constantly changing. 
So it is worth noting that and make sure to keep these numbers as well as timelines in mind with a grain of salt. And also if you want to check out a little nifty graphic that you can save to your phone that will help you remember the GTA 6 release timeline, I will leave a link to that in the description down below so feel free to go ahead and check that out. But let me know in those comments down below, what is a number of things that you want to see Rockstar showcase in the first ever trailer for GTA 6? Myself personally, I would love Rockstar to showcase some of the building interiors that they have been putting so much effort into in regards to the map of GTA 6. And then also, I would love to see some of the special points of interest in the map of GTA 6, such as a theme park slash amusement park that is a take at Disney World. And if you want to learn more about that and what we know so far about the amusement park for GTA 6, make sure to check out my video from yesterday where we discussed that in a bit more detail. But either way, let me know what you want to see from the GTA 6 trailer in those comments down below. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you learned something new, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video, as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow when we do another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome day, and I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.